okay as you may everybody is able to hear okay so this is my raw data i will introduce you to the raw data first okay so this is nothing but a system dump of some items and their suppliers and these are the items okay and suppliers corresponding to that item which supplies this product or item and we have some key attributes like uh, applicant category supplier name company name company source country manufacturer of which thing in which activity of manufacturer they are conducting and country of origin so we have these four various items okay so this is our raw data which is nothing but a dump from erp or something like that uh, i have like uh, taken only some part of the entire report it was very long so i have taken only 10 items and their corresponding attributes for our case study okay so this is our raw data let me see the question okay thank you galpes uh, he has confirmed uh, is hearing okay so uh, now this is our raw data which is a system dump of supplier but what is the problem in this raw data is it is not meaningful format so i will show you the final solution which we want like this is transformation of the entire data raw data in which we have just one time the item number in uh, in the raw data if you see it's written eight times whereas in our final solution it is only just once and the supplier name against the, that particular item only one time and the attributes in the columnar headings these seven attributes in the columnar heading so this is nice transformation so uh, we will see how to do that there are various ways of doing that but uh, uh, we'll be covering only one and one will be for your homework uh see by looking at this final solution you can uh, make it out that it is nothing but a pivot table it looks like a pivot table so what we will do is we will make a pivot of this raw data and see what happens and then we will uh, continue from there so i am just selecting the data inserting a pivot table okay in the new worksheet okay so i want item number in my row label in pivot supplier name also in the row labels and attribute name in column headings okay so this is what we are looking for uh, now it's uh, we just want to change this layout so we'll go to design i hope you know this uh, report layout you can change so now is corresponding to the item supplier name is now uh, against the item number so we will just change the design of this pivot table now we don't want any total for this thing like this totals we don't want because it is a text data so we'll just click on that uh, field right click go to fill setting and select none for sub totals okay as we don't want totals for that so and just we will remove this minus sign by just this selecting this thing okay so our uh, format is ready what we have seen in the final solution we'll now see what is the problem in this pivot table we'll see in the next step okay uh, until now everyone is with me we have just make a pivot simple pivot of the raw data okay now i'll try to put this value in the values field of the pivot data and see what happens i'm just dragging it and dropping it over here so you can see it showing as a count of these values which is nothing but one for every case now this is the limitation of pivot table it can't show text over values field this is values area of pivot table it can't show any text over there it can only show uh, some uh, some count and other things i will show you uh it can only show sum or count or average or maximum or minimum some tip, uh, number numeric data only it can show here not the text so our purpose will not be solved with the pivot table so we will be uh, solving this with formula help a complex formula for multiple criteria but before that i will remove this values area so we have this nice format in pivot so we'll take this and uh, paste special values this thing to a new area because the format is good so we'll be using uh, it for our purpose 
so i will go to new sheet and paste special values and also the format okay so we have just taken the format part of the pivot table now we will put a formula over here to multiple criteria lookup see we have three criteria over here one is the item number then should match the supplier name and the attribute if all three matches then we want the value over here so this is a three way criteria lookup before that i will introduce you to a simple vlookup formula so let us see first the simple vlookup formula uh, to understand the arguments in vlookup uh, and then we will move to the complex uh, vlookup formula okay so these are the data for some persons and their earnings this is table for persons a b c and their respective earnings now some other another place we want this data for mr a so we'll extract with the help of v lookup so we we'll write equal to v lookup open bracket see friends this v lookup has four arguments first is lookup value second is table array means in which place uh, we want excel to look this lookup value and third is the column index means if it counts the values in the table it, from which column the values should be extracted and then 0 or 1 so we'll see one by one lookup value is nothing but mr a okay comma the table array is this area so we'll select this range so we define the second argument now if excel founds this in table array we want whatever is in second column as the result of this cell so we will write 2 2 is the column number comma 0 close bracket okay so we have extracted the data with the help of v lookup a simple v lookup uh, only one criteria we have only one criteria which is mr a now if i change it to mr b it will automatically change to 150 so this is simple single criteria lookup hope everyone is with me i'll show you the presentation also step by step presentation see we have introduced you uh, to the case our case study and we have pivot the data to get the row header and column header we have copy paste special this data in new worksheet and now we are going to apply this three way vlookup formula but before that i have introduced you to the vlookup four arguments lookup value table array column index and range lookup okay now we will move to our solution and find how we can put this vlookup formula for three way lookup okay we have questions so i will see okay navin okay okay no question related to that uh, we will continue uh, we will go to our solution and i will write the formula for three way lookup now so we'll start with is equal to v lookup okay before that uh, let me introduce you to one more thing i i think you must be familiar with this thing concatenate concatenate is nothing but merging two text so it can be done with two ways i will show you both it is also necessary for our solution so i am first showing this concatenate function so i want to merge this first name and last name in this form in this cell so i will write is equal to concatenate open bracket i have to select the text one comma text to we we have only two text so we'll close the bracket play, press enter and we'll copy this formula to next cells okay so our concatenate value is found means we have merged this two text it can also be done with the help of and simple and so we'll write equal to select the first cell which we want to merge write and and select the second cell we want we want to merge is a simple formula which will give the same result so we have merged this two text with the help of concatenate function and and function simple and function in between the two cells so it's nothing but merging the text values okay so it will be helpful in our solution also so we will start with we look up over here in our final solution is equal to we look up open bracket now defining the lookup value see in in simple case it was only one value mr a but now we have three criteria 
so we will merge these three criteria with the help of and function means we will concatenate these three text so we'll write this item number and supplier name and applicant so we'll define the lookup value with merging these three criteria comma now table area see if you remember our raw data over there there is nothing uh, concatenated already which we can look up we, we tell excel to look up over there so we have to create a virtual table of uh, merged text of criteria and corresponding values so we have to create this virtual table because it's not already there uh, is, is a simple example mr a and its data its earning was already there ready-made but in our case it is not so we will see always you have to write this formula remember choose open bracket open curly bracket which is nothing but array formula i will tell you what is array formula and you have to always write one comma two you have to remember this i will show you the logic see uh, virtually we are defining for excel a two column table for our argument one consisting the merging of these three criteria and second for the corresponding values we will see comma now we will defining the first column for this table and which is nothing but concatenate means merger of these three criteria so we will go to the raw data and select the first criteria right and for merging select the second criteria right and for merging and selecting the third criteria so we have defined the column one now we will write comma and we will define the second column which is nothing but their corresponding values so we have we will cross cr close the bracket and we have defined the table array now and now we will define the column index we will write comma and column index is always two in our case because we have defined a two column virtual table in the previous argument and we want whatever is in second column a uh, second column in our cell okay comma zero close bracket and friends always you have to press control shift enter a normal enter will not work here because it is an array formula i will tell you what array formula will do but we have to press control shift enter control shift enter and our value is there okay see uh, once you press control shift enter it will uh, create a curly bracket at the end and at the start of the formula which is nothing but excel will calculate this formula until it finds the values for the cell so it is uh, recurringly calculating this formula uh, it is not only one uh, occurrence it will be uh, occurring until it finds the result so before um, uh, copying this formula to the next cells we have to make the values constant or relative hope you know that concept see uh, as it is i will uh, copy this formula to next cell it will not work because the cell reference has been changed the main uh, difference will be i want this to be constant so what we will do is we will define the constant and relative value for excel see in this case it, it can be done with the help of f4 remember friends f4 you have to press multiple times until you find the result see f4 so in this case it will both will be constant but we want 3 to be relative and a to be absolute so we'll press again okay this is the solution we want a to be constant in every case because our item number is always will be in a column but 3 can be changed 3 4 5 up to 12 okay in this case we want the same thing B to be constant and 3 to be relative. Sorry. Okay. I will make it as it is. Okay. Now, in this case, we want 2 to be relative and C to be constant. Okay. So, and our table area will be constant for every every cells it will not be changing it will be same for every cell so i will just uh, press f4 for every cell so it will not change when i copy the formula to other cells okay 
once it is done we have to press control shift enter again and now we will copy this formula to other cells okay so we have reached this solution for our final outcome so we have uh, extracted the data in this format now we can uh, auto fit this data okay and we can also freeze the pane alter wff so that it is meaningful we can also verify like uh, for 308 item the supplier name is this and germany is the country of origin we can go to this and verify that like for example 308 supplier country of origin is germany so we reached a final solution and uh, this is uh, basically our part one but i will be uh, covering one more example for demonstrating this particular formula in another use another application but meanwhile i will see the question if any yes now it is available in excel 97 2003 yes okay so any more question yeah, everybody is with me right now you can refer the file afterwards but it is basically a three-way criteria lookup see once you know the formula you can um, do it for four criteria five criteria also okay uh, i have no more questions so i will uh, show you one more example of it see suppose we have first name and last name and some earnings okay I am showing you one another application of this formula and we have these earnings and in some other place see our this is our table raw data and and some another place we have this full name a space D remember it is space in between and we want to extract earnings sometime it happens we have this uh, another type of data over there okay so in this case how to apply this formula i will show you so we will write is equal to v lookup comma see your lookup value is ready made right now our lookup value is we don't have to define it is already given full name is already given but it is with space so we'll uh, know how to like modify this solution in in this case so we'll select this lookup value ready made lookup value comma now we have to define this table array so we always write how to write choose comma open curly bracket one comma two because we are defining a two column table and in first column we want the concatenate of the first criteria and remember the friends uh, as in our lookup value there is a space in between so we will in defining our column first column we will insert a space and then write and and select the second range criteria comma now the second column which is the values we want okay so it is earnings now we'll close this bracket so our table array has been defined and column index will be always be two as i told you zero control shift enter okay so we have extracted the data a space d if it would have been b space e the value would be 150 so what we have done differently over here is just inserting a space in our virtual column because our lookup value is having that space in between two criteria. So we, you can modify it any way you want if you know the basics. Yes, I mean you can do that. Yes. Okay. So anyone has any question? We have 